Let's head over to SharePoint and IIS monitoring, which is our next point on the agenda. So we'll go to the SharePoint device here. And uh, that's, that again, SharePoint IIS monitoring is mostly done by WMI. And of course, monitoring the two goes hand in hand because actually IIS is delivering SharePoint as a service. So all, all the sensors here added again entirely by the, uh, by the auto discovery. So just point the auto discovery to the host name IP again of the SharePoint server and uh, it will discover all the sensors, so all the IIS and SharePoint sensors here as the first part, but it will also add WMI service sensors, like we see here below, automatically for all services related to the SharePoint um, server. So you can even see if, um, if there is an issue with the service, uh, which is necessary for SharePoint, you could see that here and uh, it's added automatically um, by the auto discovery. So we'll have a look at a few of the sensors here again. Um, it's really, as the, the adding process is very easy and uh, running auto discovery, I think you all know that. So I'm not going to go into that, but maybe explain a few uh, sensors here. Of course, uh, the IIS currently authenticated users that's clear, we don't have anything on that because it's just a demo uh, demo IIS SharePoint, very, very rarely used, but current connections, um, current users files send, receive. So I think that's all clear. That's just counters, performance counters, uh, how the IIS is doing. But we also have a specific sensor, maybe we'll go into that here uh, for the SharePoint, uh, which is uh, delivered by the IIS. So here really we see uh, anonymous users, bytes sent and received, uh, files sent, received uh, the same, the CGI requests, known users per second or, or as a volume, so 27, not found errors and post requests, so all the performance data uh, from IIS for the SharePoint application on it. And um, also, then of course, for the SharePoint central administration, uh, so we have a few spikes here, for example, very, very nice. And for the SharePoint web services again. Then for the SharePoint explicitly for its different processes, there are again uh, resource sensors, which um, let's maybe go into the total one here to go to an example. So we'll see active threats, CPU utilization, current page requests, executing SQL queries, um, the, the memory sizes in global heap, cache and template cache size. So all these you can see um, on, on such a sensor, which is called WMI SharePoint process sensor. And again, you don't need to add that manually. It's done by the auto discovery. So as, as soon as PDG sees, okay, there is a SharePoint sensor, it will add this sensor and you can go ahead and monitor resource usage there okay so that's really not too too difficult with monitoring sharepoint